What's going on? What's going on? What's going on, guys? It's your boy Tay, and today we're going to talk about some of the strangest things that we saw in the prison concerning animals today. Yes, people used to have actual pets in prison. Believe it or not, it was even allowed in most yards. Without further ado, we're going to talk about that. But first, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Dante, prison of profit. I did eight years, nine months in prison and it sucked. Every day sucked, every single one of them. I would trade any good day that I had in the penitentiary for any bad day that I had in the streets. Almost any bad day. Yeah, pretty much any bad day because like I said, prison sucks. And my charge was armed robbery. I do have a story about that if you would like to check that out. But we're not gonna talk about that here because there's a video for that if you wanna see it. But anyways, without further ado, we're gonna talk about pets in prison. like. How is it even possible people had pets in prison? What were some of the pets in prison? And did I have a prison pet? <laughs> so when it comes to prison, people try to utilize their time as wisely as they can. And by that, that means any creatures that happen to come along the way Hey, that is my new animal. I'm talking about everything from rodents to insects to actual cats. Yes, the number one prison animal is cats. Don't know why, but it seems like every single yard that I've been on, they have a plethora of cats. And when I say a plethora, I'm not talking about just like, oh, three or four cats, one or two cats. I'm talking about a brood of cats. There was one yard I was on that had at least 70 cats, at least 70 cats, called Ridgeland. I'm telling you, at least 70 cats. They would line up outside the cafeteria when people would be leaving and just be waiting for people to feed them. It was crazy. Like you can hear the cats at night running around like it's, people used to keep some cats in the actual dorm and they would feed the cats. Like it was, it was crazy. And right before like inspections, they would take the cats out their room. Like guys, it was unreal how many people had pet cats. They would name the cats <laughs> and after they named the cats, like they would literally treat the cats as if it's their actual animal. And if you harass these animals in any kind of way, you get stabbed. Not even gonna lie, they will stab you because it's like their family member. They've officially adopted these animals. And where all these animals come from, I don't even know. Like how did cats even start invading prisons? I don't know if somebody brought a cat to the prison and it was pregnant and just started breeding and then that's how it happened. But when I'm telling you the story, guys, you think I'm exaggerating. Every single prison that I've been on had cats. Not dogs, no squirrels, no bun. Okay, I've seen bunnies, but cats, they're everywhere. Don't know why, but they're everywhere. Cats, meow, 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 everywhere. Like you guys don't under, is there a movie called Cats? And was there ever a scene where cats would like run out and storm? Cause that's what it would look like at chow time. I don't know how it was sanitary. A lot of the times I feel like uh, animal control should have been called because seriously, man, there was so many cats on a lot of these yards that it was redonkulous. I'm talking about redonkulous. But besides the cat problem infestation that's what i'm going to call it besides the cat infestation that they had there was a lot of people who used to keep like little small prey mantises and ants and spiders and just bugs in general they would keep these things and feed them obviously you get bored you want to keep an animal or two to keep you entertained and this is how they kept themselves entertained especially during lockdown because when you get locked down you have nothing to do so if you have a whole cat in your cell with you I guess you have somebody to play with and or now that I think about it what were they doing with these cats in their cells doing nasty things I don't even know my mind went to that just now but anyways yeah so these cats and <laughs> these cats in the cells yeah I'm still on that yeah okay anyways back to normal conversation these animals it gave a lot of people like a sense of being you know there were a lot of people who were doing life sentences and the way they wanted to make up for their crimes were to really take care of these animals. That's one of the reasons like I kind of understood it after a while, but because a lot of people need purpose in life. Once you go to prison, you don't have a purpose anymore. So we look for things to cling on to. What can we take care of now? 
We didn't take care of certain things the right way or the proper way when we were free. Now that we are locked up, we're going to take whatever comes our way that we can take care of, even if we have to trap that thing, be it a bug, a fly, a prey mantis, or whatever. If we have to trap it and feel as if we can take care of it to make up for our crime. I don't know if that's a lot of people's thinking back there, because guys, when I say there were a lot of people doing this, it was a lot of people doing it. So I never myself personally had an animal, um, but... At the same time, I got it. You know, there was one yard, like I said, the cats. I'm not lying. Google it. I don't know if y'all can Google this information or not, but cats, they're literally all over penitentiaries. Uh, they keep snakes and stuff away. You hear people say that. They keep certain animals or stuff away, rodents. But the cats themselves can be that infestation. And at certain yards, like, it's a problem. few yards, there's only like three or four cats running around. But there's one or two yards, I'm telling you, there's like... 50 plus cats. They can never control it. But it gives the guy something to do because again, I always go back to proper rehabilitation while you're locked up. There really isn't proper rehabilitation for you while you're locked up. So people need to go to other things to keep themselves entertained, keep themselves sane and taking care of animals, insects and whatnot. That's what keep them sane. Other people even have other people as animals. Seriously though, think about it. Yeah, like, I'm gonna take care of you and you're gonna be this for me and do everything that I tell you. I'm gonna pet you, I'm gonna groom you, I'm gonna do everything that I need, but in essence, they're claiming ownership over you. So not just animals, insects, but actual human beings. Yeah, prison's wild, man. It's like, a lot of the scenes and scenarios you see on movies, some of them are far-fetched, but sometimes some things that are far-fetched are actually true. Like, you know, you can see somebody who's like literally somebody's bitch. They will literally hang on to somebody all day long. They can't do nothing. They can't eat. They can't even go take a proper bathroom break without getting permission from their owner. And that's Good old prison, guys. I'm telling you, it's a place that guys don't go. It's It sucks. It really, really sucks. Don't go to prison. If you know anybody on a path of going down that road, talk them out of it because that is a ledge. Once you step over, you can't take some of the images out your head that you've seen from that place. Even being back there, if you if you do a lot of time, man, there's there will be a portion of your bid. You lose your mind. Definitely. Um... I seriously believe if anybody has done more than three years consecutively in prison, they had a slight phase in that sentence where they lost their mind. Prison's crazy. Some of these people who hold some of these animals are these people. Some of these people don't even like cats. But again, it goes back to, I can't take care of anything else. So let me see if I can do it the right way and take care of this animal that I don't even really like. But we're stuck with it. So we have no choice. It's crazy what prison can do for you, man. Like, we just think about it in the grand scheme of things. Like, prison, that cycle is, it, it can be it can be good for some people because it's a cycle that's going to break whatever cycle that you had and it's going to put you in a form of realization of, damn, I need to stop doing what I was doing because this place ain't what it is. But for some people, it's a cycle of, oh, okay, well, they're taking care of me. Um, I don't have to, like, do all the stuff I was doing when I was on the streets. There's really no rehabilitation. They're not really telling me why what I was doing was wrong. I can survive this. It's not that bad. I can come here every two or three years and just do two or three years or four or five years for the crimes that I was doing. I don't know. It's crazy. Prison's crazy. It makes people crazy. And yeah. But anyways, those are a lot of the prison pets that I saw while I was locked up. Everywhere from insects to rodents to mainly cats. Yes, cats. I even think I saw a weasel, maybe in a pet monkey. No, I'm just kidding. But uh, make sure that you bless somebody today because I promise you I'm going to bless somebody tomorrow. At this point in time, your boy Tay, I'm out.